Hello, this is Jay Rodman playing Bard's Tale 3, and today we're in the middle of... Oh, I'm on the wrong map. We're in the middle of the Violet's Mountain, uh, down in the southeast corner of what is apparently a dungeon under the mountain, uh, which contains some sort of dragon and a key. And I think we might be interested in both. I, I'm pretty certain we're interested in the key. Um, uh, dragon seems, well, even if not necessary, satisfying. The idea of killing off a dragon. I mean, sure, there have been lots of dragons in this game. Lots of, like, steam dragons and wind dragons and... But somehow, a, a, a plot-relevant dragon feels like a bigger challenge. Now, did I just figure out... Okay, I'm just starting to map beyond the wraparound. The wraparound is right here. Okay, so for now, I'm simply going to move... the floor to the right. Wait, where's the... Oh, the big, lo the big line is here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna move the floor back, back. Let's start with making the floor wider, because I'm pretty sure it's not wide enough. I don't know how wide it's gonna need to be. But... Well, let's say 16 for now. Okay, so... That puts the line right where I wanted it. And with that, index 7, is that the color I want? Let's try 7. That means I can start putting these lines in as gray, meaning sort of they help me orient where things should be, but they're not on this side of the map. Okay, looking... Hold on one second. What was with that flash? I don't know. Oop. Okay, so this something square is a hit point drain, as it turns out. And, to, in a rush to get out of the hit point drain, I've now wrapped around to the other side of the world, so we can find out how far over it is. Nine west is the limit. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think we're going to find that eight east is the limit in this direction. But for the moment, I'm going to draw the lines. So, my little hero is here, and the walls are. We can see. Or I saw that wall from Auto Map. Okay, and let's go back to the other side of the wraparound. Oh, this is where the spell point drains are all happening, isn't it? Eighties, sure. Oh no, this spot doesn't 
Spell point drain. Does this spot? Oh yeah. Okay. So now that we know how big our map is, pretty accurately. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. We know it's 9 west plus 8 east plus the zero thing. So 18 across. I'm gonna guess that it's 18 north too, but could be wrong. But we're gonna I'm gonna keep it for now. And now I'm gonna bump my map to fit the grid, um, and then go back to narrow mapping this eastern side of the map. It seems that we have multiple points of wraparound east to west, but maybe very few north to south. Stepping north, we can tell there's a spinner here, already knew that. Um, looking east, this is a little tricky. I guess I'm going to replace this wall with a gray wall. Uh, it seems like enough to map on that side. Oof. So we're right here. Meaning the walls we can see are this, this, and this. And we can already see this wall. And this something that we could detect is actually here. Can I can I please edit this one? There we go. I want to find out what that something is. It is a hit point drain. Orange ogres, more orange ogres, orange dragon, haste mage. Uh, hide. I'm going to pull the dragon in, in hopes of killing it next round. And I'll use a master wand on the two ogres. Did I remember to cast restoration? I meant to. What happens is like early in the decision making when I'm in my fighters, I'm like, oh, and I'll heal. And then I get down to the casters and I forget that I decided that. So... The dragon's here, and I'm going to have both Grisnak and Lady Ogre Shield attack it. Elena can attack an ogre. Elena will defend. Here's where I cast Restoration. Master one on the two ogres. Six 
six thousand experience. Yeah, I feel like experience has, has uh, stabilized. Like I don't think our, the amount we're getting per combat goes is going up. You can detect the odd. Already knew about that. To the east, there's also an odd. Mm, I want to take some kind of note of that. And back to the other side of the map. Okay, so I just stepped here, here, here. I'm going to go back through the odd before recasting Sorcerer's Sight. One Agent Orange alone. I will kill that. And get a free 11 healing. and no items. Oh, a darkness. This, I'm having trouble with, with using these controls effectively. The audio is going to be a little crappy because I forgot to set the encoder to use only three CPU cores. It's using all of my CPU cores. If it doesn't stabilize, um, I'll probably just pause the session and finish it later. So I can't phase door through that wall. I can teleport through it. Uh, whoa. Okay, so I'm pretty sure what just happened is I teleported to here. This landed on a teleporter of some new and novel color, not covered by those. Such as a pink. How about a pink? And it warped me way up here. I don't know how even how far north this is. Fifteen north. I'm gonna put in the markings for this zero oh I need to be non pink. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And sure enough, this um, dungeon goes two more to the north. Okay, so pick up, pick up the color, whatever pink I made this, I don't remember. 
And here's where we landed. There's a trap in front of us. North, a little, I guess I should put my put my little man marker down. To the north, there's a little alcove. So I'm going to test out right now. We have a vague idea that there's a something on both sides. Although it's not precise at all. Nothing to the north. I'm just gonna step forward because I, I want to know where that trap is. I don't think I'm gonna finish this dungeon in one visit. Okay, I'm gonna assume this something guessed correctly because we just sort of cross-referenced it. By now it's easy to see this wall and this wall. And we haven't set a trap off, so I think there's one here. Okay, this audio is getting a little too choppy, and I'm going to put this session on hold by pausing it, and I'll come back after the encode is done. Oh, I figured out how to pause the encoding. I didn't realize I could do that. So, um, let's head off again into the depths of the Violet Mountain. So I can teleport to some places, but not all places. And it's a good thing I didn't use my gems yet, because this is totally draining the remaining spell points I have. And that's a hit point drain. Excellent. Drop the yellow rose. I have a feeling that I'm not going to need the roses in the mountain while fighting a dragon. Maybe I maybe I misunderstand. Maybe I should defeat the dragon by giving it roses. But I don't think that's how it's gonna play out. Oh, I'm in spellpoint drain again. Great. They're very generous with spellpoint drain spots in this dungeon. Do I want to go? I don't, I, I'm going to teleport. I'm trying to teleport to south. I think the net cost to my spell points might be lower by teleporting than walking through this 
and having all of my three mages lose some spell points. So we can see a spinner. Is there a spinner down here on the opposite side? I don't know, actually. I haven't explored that part yet. Okay, well, I guess I'll find out. So to the south, there's um, a trap and a spinner, supposedly. Let's just step north and find out I'm another spell point drain zone. I hate you. And I think I just got an initial notification about that something. I think I didn't have it in the spell brain drain zone. What do you bet this is going to be another spell point drain in front of me? I'm going to find out. Yep. There needs to be a backup key to get out of these things. Or at least a turnaround key. But there isn't. Some versions of Bard's Steel, there's a turnaround key. But not on the Apple II or Commodore versions. Oof. So it requires you get three points of drain. If you move in, you get drain. Turn, turn, drain twice. Finally, you get to move out. Kinda sucks. Oops. So looking north, we can see a spinner. is probably going to turn out to be this one. Looking south, we see nothing except for a wall. East, there's a something which I already knew about. West, we, can don't, we can't tell anybody anything because spell point drains are unsensible or not sensible. You cannot... I mean, they aren't sensible, but you cannot sense them also. Uh, on our right, there are three walls. There's a wall four away on the far end. On our left, there's a gap and a wall and a gap and then two walls. south. I think that's all we can see. West, that is not where the trap is. Oh, that's the trap I cleared. There's one to the south, and I was hoping to find it. out of an anti-magic square here. West, no, nothing. East, nothing. I'm gonna keep going south. West, nothing. East, nothing. So, now we know where this trap is. Because we could sense it both these directions. Uh, and there's an unplaced something to both sides. Uh, it's not what I meant to do. No, no, option N. Something. 
I'm gonna go west though. If I see south. With my normal eyes, on the right hand side I see a gap and a wall. On the left hand side I see a wall like this. Okay. I also get a something and a quiet, which I think I will place by detecting them from further north. Oh, wrong way. This is the way I went. Turn around. Okay, so from here, I can't detect the something to the south. So, it's here. And the silence, I'll find out by stepping into it. No big deal. And on top of being trapped, it's a hit point drain. Why not? So here's our silence. I don't want to fight these guys while silenced. I don't like skeptics. Skeptics and dragons and I don't know, it just seemed like a huge uh, spell point sink. Okay, I think it's time to circle back. Oh, this is just a little alcove. Mm. I'm gonna go back through this hit spell point drain one more time to map this out. It just shocked me for seven points of damage. Seven. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it's using ma sorcerer spells, given mind mage. Can I reach it with mind jab? Or is it cheating? Because that must have been a mind jab.
I guess I finally got my answer that that something was right there. Well, don't need it anymore. controlling my little avatar on the map. Okay, turning west. We get a wall over there. It's gonna be a something ahead. Here, nothing. Here, nothing. Walls on both sides here, and then one in the middle. So, forward, to the west, looks like there's a dead end, east, another kind of dead end. So, should be a something to the east, which we already know about. And to the west, nothing. At least nothing detected. That's what we can see. Lots of uh, lateral walls. We can see the silence and the waver. No big deal. Our light went out. To the west. There's a wall here. These walls exist. That's all I got. Definitely can detect a trap on the wraparound, and it's specifically one, two, three in. Turning south, you can detect a spinner three head to the south. One, two, three. I just stepped into a spell point drain alcove. Great. As previously mentioned, they hit you three times to get out again. I'm starting to become very sick of this dungeon design with all the spell point drains and little and little corners you get stuck in. Right and on the right again, and then in the middle. Okay, to the, to the east, is it going to be spell point drain? No. Although there's something to the south. I'm going to guess it's there. If I was really careful when I looked south here, I may have forgotten. This I'm more certain about. Okay. 
Spinner to the west. Do I already know about one? I do not. Okay. Let's go east first. Into a hit point drain. And we can't see the spinner from there. So it's all right on the edge. drain closet or alco really I'm getting kind of sick of them to the west we can sense a spinner that we already know about but we haven't been over there um, to the east there's a something unknown location. Uh, I'm gonna go west first and turn back. Incidentally, we now know there's an odd where we already knew there was one, just checking. Um, skeptic and skeptics. Uh, I don't... You guys make me miss. Doesn't seem like a fun time. there was a something here. It's probably down there, because I think I detected it from this alcove. Oh. No, I really have no idea where it is. I'm going to just drop it, because, well, if it exists, I'll figure out where it is later. Try to reel in the skeptic. Didn't work though. I wonder if the skeptic is just a hint that they're really good at resisting. Up this. An unidentified armor. I suppose there are still armor upgrades available here, even though I got two tongue plates, I think. Maybe there are upgrades available for my rogue or bard. A hunter's cloak. I suspect this is for a hunter. Yep, I'm gonna drop it. Oh, by the way, the book is for dispossessing. I don't know if it's really worth carrying around, and it's gonna get used really rarely. Mostly, I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna forget I have it and then feel dumb about it later.
Can we clear the trap assuming it's where I think it is? It still leaves me with a spinner and an odd. I didn't think they were going to be directly in front of me and they weren't. So I have a spinner and an odd over here somewhere. When I stepped here, I could detect the spinner. So... There's one right here. And then one more and I could take the odd, which is already on the map. Turning south. We can detect an odd, I'm pretty sure going to be right in front of us. Um, now, to know that it happened, I can back up and recheck. Yeah, if you can't detect an odd anymore, then an odd has affected you. Okay, this is hard to display properly. I think what I need to do is place enough of the of this side of the map on the wraparound. So it's at height seven. So we're right here. And in front of us there's a wall here? I think so. And then a little alcove with an odd in it, I guess. I'll step forward and expect the spinner message to go away, and it did. And I didn't expect spinner to go away that way, because there's another spinner. And we have some odd alcoves. That I'm going to step into for completeness sake. And still detect traps. Where am I now? I, I lost track. I mean the Alco, okay. So, from over here, I can detect the trap. So, one, two, three, the trap is... No, no, I'm not there. <laughs> the trap is there, whatever. Okay, recast my second sight. to step back into the odd at this point. I'm 
I am doing the most haphazard exploration pattern ever. Okay, maybe an overstatement, but pretty damn haphazard. From here I can tap the traps to the north and the south. Big surprise. Here, I can detect awfully quiet ahead. Did I see this wall from the other side? I thought I did not. Oh no, it's there. I just didn't write it down because I'm lazy. I thought there might be a one-way wall in play. Going south. Trap to the east. At this point, I can clear that one. It can't be anywhere else, and there aren't any others. Okay, so this is a pointless little spiral just to step on a trap if you're really unwary. And most of them are casters. I'll fight them anyway because I've been avoiding fights for a while. Uh, cold on the orange wizard. I'm going to attack the unbelievers because my assumption is they have better spell resistances. And try to nuke down the ogres. I need to bring in the orange wizards because the orange wizard singular. Uh, he's gonna keep making brothers Kringle. Oh, I just cast preclusion. That's what I should do. Duh. Then they can't summon anything. Of course, they're dead already. I don't need Angel Harp number two. Does it have a lot of charges? No. Goodbye, Angel's Harp. I mean, if I really loved the item, maybe I should have two. So that when the first one runs out, I would still have one. It just seems like a utility. I don't know. It doesn't seem crucial. It seems. rarely high utility. Oh, keyboard in the wrong program.
something's wrong. Maybe... Maybe there was never a wall here and I just put it there... Like a space case? trap now. So this square is both um, a trap and a something. Let's play the single agent orange and hope that I come out hit point positive. First time I've seen them poison. care to go next. Um, I think this way. So there's a spinner against the south edge of the map in this column. Which I'd already mapped. I was a little unsure about a spinner in this column on the south edge of the map, but apparently there is not one. <laughs> my, my kingdom for a better set of cursor keys. My goodness. we have a pretty definite hallway. And south. The bend we 
expect. Okay, let's go south. These Shade Warriors seem to always come in twos. I guess it's a prefabricate. Maybe the, all the groups are prefab, but that seems. I don't know. Seems unlikely. There's a lot of variation, and there's not a lot of disk storage. When you're in a particular area, the game has to run off of a maximum of 180 kilobytes, so. Why would they fill that with a ton of uninteresting. Groups. Maybe some are prefabricated and the rest are randomized. Okay, so my suspicion that there were two spinners down there separated by one space seems to be substantiated. This was a pointless little room. What is this something? It's a hit point drain. And this something? Uncertain. Not, it's not spell point regeneration. Uh, no, maybe there isn't a something here. Maybe it's just there was a something to the north, which is a wraparound. Okay, I was being dumb. From this side? No, there's nothing. Okay, it's just a dead end with a hit point drain partway along it, of course. Getting a theme for this area. Lots of uh, plusy walls stacked up next to each other. And at some point, I was walking around in a spell point drain without realizing it. 
because I did not run Lillian down to 11 hit points. I like that Chantel Trail hit someone for one. That is that is impressive. Oh, I'm standing on the spell point drain right here. Okay. And here. And here. And here, this is Spell Point Drain Central. I'm not even bothering to refill my spell points until I get past this junk. Yep, as expected on this spot too. How about this one? Yep. Probably in these two as well. Yeah, here too. So where have I been? I've been up here, and here, and what I learned? I learned the north-south edge is solid, all the way across. I learned this is a spell, a spell point drain here, and a hit point drain there. Yeah, I'm gonna step in the last spell point drain square just to be complete about it. Yep. Well, who says it's the last? Last for a little while, I guess. How am I doing with total exploration? Mm, mediocre. Let me finish this section. What is that, a death death hammer? Death hammer. So I feel like this is another hunter weapon, but... Um, can a paladin use a death hammer? No. I'll figure that one out later.
So one way that mapping goes faster as I get uh, closer to finishing is I've already located all the special stuff and what kind of some what kind of something square is this unknown okay maybe it's not even the something square maybe I placed it incorrectly well that just cut against my point but what I'm saying is um, I get closer and closer to knowing where everything is and the amount of time I spend trying to figure out where things are goes way down. No, there's definitely a something there, just not a something I know what it is. From here, I can see what I expect to. Step in the uh, anti magic for fun. Amusingly, the fight started before the anti magic could turn all my spells off. I didn't step forward yet. That's also a possibility. Yep, didn't step forward yet. There it is. drop this oh soothing balm not okay soothing balm is a, a heal whatever I thought I'd picked up another youth potion but I picked up another soothing balm soothing balm I guess is better brings people back to life it seems like a quite a strong balm status is mostly just a nuisance. What did I just do? I somehow warped the selecting thing really far. Okay, what have I got left? I've got this little passage, which seems low value, but is nearby. Um, and then I've got this whole expanse. Let's go to the nearby, nearby passage. No, please, no, I just... back, go away. Spell point regen here. No, no, 
I'm option. I just want to edit this. get to a place I haven't mapped yet. I guess uh, east, south, east, like this. Through the darkness. step to here. Tongue plate. Do I have that already on everyone? And by everyone I mean Grisnock and Lady Oakshield. Neck has a Titan plate. Is that better or worse? Okay, but Guznak is full. It's carrying too much. Uh, oh, I did have a youth potion. I just got both. Everyone's full on everything. It should have been asking me, do I want to use the youth potion? the plate again? I've forgotten by now. Uh, Elena, identify this item, probably gonna be a gem. Give it to our chronomancer, Elendor. Finally, we get to see if this is an upgrade. Armor class 30. 32 is an upgrade, and no one else is going to be able to use a Titan Plate. So, oh, dropping away it goes. Oh, why did I cast that? I'm about to walk through an odd spot. it again. So I just went th through here. Now it's time to warp around to here. Okay. 
There's this odd spot. There's a lot of spellcasters that are less dangerous at 10 feet than they are at any other distance because they try to hit you and they're not that good at it. was a unexciting little dead end that traps me going through the odd square again. I wonder where the fastest place to grind is. I feel like it's going to be some middle zone where there's enormous groups of mediocre enemies. Okay, could I get a working sorcerer site? Okay, maybe it is working. Hard to say. West and South. This time I was finally observant enough to notice there's a drain there. Not for sure there was an odd up this this way. Maybe it's here. Okay, found a trap. Found 
a hit point drain. And yeah, the odds there. So I was wrong about this silence. Probably when I was trying to find those. point drain zone. And what's the other something? Another hit point drain zone, of course. Okay, so here's how our Violet Mountain is looking at this point. It's actually looking pretty empty of anything significant. Um, I guess the key is that that stairway detection is where we actually need to go because probably that goes to the next level or something interesting happens. Um, but this episode I think has been long enough. The next one I'm going to finish exploring this area and take a peek down the next level. See if um, I'm ready for whatever it holds in store. That's it for this session of the Violet Mountain. See you next time.